last session we covered we we covered okay in the, in the last sessions we covered fundamental data types of python fundamental data types data types of python we covered sir sir which are fundamental data types of python can you please anyone can you please confirm which are fundamental data types of python sir int next and after that float next the complex int float complex next the bool and then bool and then str okay these are five data types are called fundamental data types right int means whole numbers integral numbers the numbers without the decimal point float means the number with the decimal point okay the number with the decimal point complex means 10 plus 20 j this type of format complex numbers right next the bool means true true and false true and false these things are bool str means sir a sequence of characters either in single quote either in single quote or in double quotes okay even triple quote symbols also allowed in the python but in special area that part already i discussed right these five types are called fundamental data types of python even i cover how to typecast okay from one type to another type type casting functions also i discussed sir so in the function float function next and after that you know complex function next the bool function complex function bool bool function next uh, under then str function we covered these uh, type casting functions also in the last sessions right sir next and after that one more very important point i discussed sir how many uh, you people remember that not i'm not sure okay even even i cover fundamental data types fundamental fundamental data types data types versus fundamental data types versus versus uh, anyone can you please tell sir what says what is the concept i cover have you remembered in the last sessions the most beautiful concepts are fundamental data types versus immutability immutability sir all fundamental data types are immutable once we create fundamental data type object we can't perform any change in that object if you are trying to perform any change with those changes a new object will be created sir okay so that's all this is so just up to this we covered about sir basic spot right sir now i told in python almost we are going to discuss 14 data types sir, but we covered the first five fundamental data types only what about remaining data types right these are things i want to i have to discuss right sir very very simple very very simple sir when we should go for list data type when uh, the remaining data types just observe the next five data types what i'm going to cover list data type list data type tuple data type set data type frozen set set frozen set under then date these are five these are five data types i want to discuss right under then remaining things uh, bytes data type byte array data type next and after that range under then none like uh, these are things that next level we are going to discuss so don't worry sir these are the most the most important commonly used data types especially okay list concept tuple concept and then sir here set concept and the dict concept these are four commonly used types compulsory you people should be aware sir okay well sir now just my my important question here is sir if i have sir if if i have just uh, observe carefully sir if i have a is equal to 10 is there sir a is equal to 10 can you please tell how many values how many objects are there please confirm how many how many objects are there how many values are there only one value only one value okay this is the this is the value sir 10 and a is the reference variable for that assume that sir sir i want to represent a group of values i want to represent a group of values right if you want to represent a group of values group of values then we require to go for these data types remember this one sir so normal fundamental data types can represent a single value only one value at a time only one value but if you want to represent okay if you want to represent a group of values then we require to go for okay list tuple set of frozen set of dict like this right so when we should go for list when we should go for tuple or set of frozen set of dict sir we know for all these things 
common point is okay these represent these represent a group of objects remember this one a group of objects objects right so list the name itself indicates right list list is it easy is it is it going to represent one object or multiple objects can you please tell is it going to represent one object or multiple objects yes friends multiple list 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 means a multiple multiple tuple is also same set set is a group of objects frozen set is also a group of objects only dict dictionary dictionary contain key value something like dictionary dictionary english dictionary is there word and its meaning word and its meaning something like a key value like we have sir these are five data types represent a group of objects but fundamental data types represent only individual objects i hope individual single single objects right up to this any doubt can you please get some common point right of course the many types also there but these first let me talk about these things right so now when we should go for list when we should go for list sir list very very simple if we want to represent a group of individual objects as a single entity remember this one sir if we want to represent if we want to represent a group of a group of individual objects a group of individual objects individual objects as a single entity as a single entity remember that sir i have a list is there sir a list of objects are there at the end of this list of objects is a single entity it is one list which internally contain multiple objects if you want to represent a group of objects as a single entity single entity where where duplicate objects are allowed duplicate objects are allowed 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 and 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 the order must be and the insertion order insertion order preserved and the insertion order preserved preserved like that. sir what is the meaning of these two words i will discuss right sir very simple if you want to represent a group of objects as a single entity where two conditions are there sir duplicate objects are allowed and the insertion order preserved then we require to go for list concept remember that sir i have one list is there sir l is equal to l is equal to list we have to take within square brackets remember this one sir what is this one can you please spell out square brackets right okay l 10 comma 20 comma 10 comma 10 comma 20 can i use the word it is a list of objects or not can you please observe that is it a list of objects or not yes it is a list of objects sir first object is the 10 second object 20 third object 10 10 20 can you please confirm duplicates are allowed or not allowed duplicates are allowed or not allowed please confirm duplicates are allowed or not allowed duplicates are allowed here 10 if you observe three times it is there sir 20 if you observe two times it is there sir next the first one what is the first element sir can you please spell out what the first element sir 10 what is the second element sir 20 order will be preserved man if you want to access this 10 l of 0 have you remembered index story i covered in the in the string concept by using index sir, happily we can access these elements right l of 0 10 L of one is nothing but twenty, thirty, something like that. Uh, you can you can get right. Now have ye look once sir. Uh, L is equal to ten comma twenty comma ten comma ten comma twenty is there sir. Okay now now print of type of L. Print of type of L sir. So what is the type of L? What is the what is the type type of L? If you consider P Y test that P Y sir. P Y test that P Y. What the type type of L sir? Now if you if you observe that, what answer we are going to get sir? Okay, it is the list type. Remember this one. It is what type sir? It is the list list type of object the class list like this right? Now sir, I want to I want to print the sir L. If I am trying to print L, all these elements by default we will get within square bracket. All these elements we are going to get within square bracket means duplicate elements are there. Sir, what is the first element? I want to print the first element, sir. L of zero. L of zero is the first element. If you want to print the first element, ten. L of zero itself is the ten. Ten is the answer we are going to get, sir. Okay, like so. Now a group of values. If you want to represent. where duplicates are allowed 
where duplicates are allowed insertion order preserved then we require to go for okay list concept are you getting everyone in the position to understand okay well now i have one small doubt sir okay just observe carefully observe observe carefully yeah when i that point only i am coming out sir observe a bit very carefully there is a list uh, yeah the separate topic we have to discuss somewhere after maybe 10 sections we require to discuss as a separate topic then you will get much clarity but still i want to i want to provide a bit a bit clarity have a look once sir sir so i'm taking l is equal to empty list correct or not what i'm trying to take l is equal to empty empty list like this i took sir now take a bit very very special care sir here uh, yeah akash in python by default array concept is not there okay by default array concept is not there so if you want to represent array something like this happily we can go for by using list uh, these type of things getting right akash array such a type of terminology is not there in the python if you want to implement indirectly there is a numpy module is there by using that numpy module we can do that okay now it is the, the list sir can i use the word is it empty list or not sir? please confirm is it empty empty list or not sir? yes friends yes obviously it is an empty list because no elements are there now l dot i want to add an element to this empty list l dot append r durga what it means is if you want to add an object to the list then we have to call append method remember this one we require to call which method sir append append method we have to call l dot append of durga durga like this right now can you please tell how many elements are there in the list please confirm how many elements are there in the list sir print of l how many elements are there in the list only one only one only one this total is one string object L dot append of Durga. Durga means uh, one string object. Okay, one object added to the list. So now, how many objects are there? Means uh, only one object. This is the Durga. Okay, like uh, now I'm trying to take. Now I'm trying to take L dot append of L dot append of. Okay, some Ravi like this. I'm taking sir. Okay, now again I'm trying to print the print of L. Can you please tell now how many elements are there? Can you please confirm? How many, how many elements are there, sir? Two elements are there. Two elements are there, sir. Okay. Now here Durga and then Ravi. Now my question is, you know, now my question is, what is the first inserted element? Please confirm. What is the first inserted element, sir? The first inserted element is uh, Durga. First inserted element is uh, Durga, Durga, like this, right? Durga. So now insertion order will be preserved. What is the meaning of that? So I want to know first element. First element is always going to be stored where, sir, in the 0th index. Okay. Now L of 0 means uh, Durga we are going to get. L of 1 means uh, Ravi we are going to get. Are you seeing, are you seeing the meaning of insertion order? In which order we added? In the same order only, the data is stored internally. Correct or not? Array first element, Durga, will be stored in the 0th index. Second element, Ravi, inserted in 1th index place. In which order we added? In the same order only, the data will be stored. This type of thing is called insertion order. Okay, what is the meaning of insertion order? Now it's a very, very clear for you people, right? Okay, okay. Now I want to add l dot append of 10.5 10.5 l dot append of sir 10 l dot append of l dot append of true i'm trying to take okay true i'm taking sir can you please confirm how many elements are there can you please confirm how many how many elements are there here five elements are there five elements are there first one second one third fourth fifth okay like that sir what is the output output we are going to get anyone can you please guess what is the what is the output we are going to get sir the first one is durga second one ravi ravi third one sir 10.5 okay fourth one sir 10 and the then true we are going to get sir that's all this is the this is the output we are going to get it's a very clear this is the output we are going to get sir now if you want let me cross check 
let me cross check durga ravi 10.5 10 true is the answer we are going to get so it's very clear what is the meaning of insertion order okay like. so what is the list list is not even a group of elements list is nothing but a group of a group of elements right point number one what are various properties satisfied by list insertion order preserved insertion order preserved yes any doubt about this one can you please confirm any doubt about this one okay next uh, next uh, insertion order it is a preserved uh, one small thing rajesh uh, if you are performing mathematical operations and if you are using boolean then only it is considered as a one true means one true means one one like this right but uh, but uh, true means one but in all remaining cases boolean is always boolean only it is not string if it is a string it will come within code symbol but it's not string it is a boolean value remember that okay rajesh clear right yeah now duplicates are allowed or not allowed can you please tell duplicates are allowed or not allowed yes allowed next the third point sir here which type of objects i added can you please observe which type of objects i added durga ravi 10.5 means a different type of objects have you observed one is a string someone is float inter type boolean type like that. different type of objects are allowed allowed such a type of thing is called heterogeneous objects are you getting heterogeneous objects are allowed of course it is not special point because all collections yellow all collection related classes yellow heterogeneous objects don't worry sir heterogeneous object by default allowed no problem at all next uh, sir you know based on my requirement based on my requirement you can increase the size you can decrease the size okay here starts with the uh, zero size starts with the zero size uh, but uh, now the size will become five five like this right now if you want uh, you can remove you can remove the required elements also l dot remove l dot remove of 10.5 i want to remove sir 10.5 i want to remove sir print of l print of l now observe this one so at the beginning this is the thing sir but i remove 10.5 after removing 10.5 now the value will become what 10 any doubt thoda thoda clarity getting right so so based on our requirement you can increase and you can decrease that's why i can use the word list is growable in nature okay growable in nature means uh, based on our requirement based on our requirement we can increase the size we can increase the size we can increase the size or decrease the size okay both both possibilities are there sir okay we can increase the size or decrease the size decrease decrease the size like this right okay both possibilities are there neeraj neeraj l of remove of l of zero yes you can do that no problem at all okay next uh, fifth one sir observe carefully sir you know here how the values will be represented if it is the list if it is the list immediately the values should be represented inside square brackets notation correct right okay just aware this very very important point sir okay list means square bracket tuple means parenthesis okay set means curly braces observe these representations right dict means curly braces set and dict both are curly braces tuple means do you know sir it is the parenthesis next the list means okay this one sir square brackets kind of thing these representations compulsory you have to inject in your mind okay like now here that's it sir what is the next the next the next the terminology sir so, based on our requirement we can increase the size or decrease the size both both options are both options are possible next the values should be should be enclosed enclosed within uh, value should be enclosed within square brackets are getting values should be enclosed within within square brackets remember this one sir list means square bracket tuple means tuple means parenthesis set the comma dict means okay curly braces remember this one multiple times we are going to use these words compulsory better to keep in your mind okay like next sixth one sir okay 
I have one small doubt. List is mutable or immutable? List is mutable or immutable? It's a very, very important point, sir. Is it mutable? Is it mutable or immutable? So, uh, list is mutable or immutable? Very important. Take a bit special care about, about this one, sir. Sir, here, here observe that, observe very carefully. I have one list is there, sir. Just, uh, I have L is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40 is there, sir. Now, I want to change L of 0 as a triple 7, okay, or double 7, double 7, print off, print off L on them. Can you please tell, is it valid or not? Yes, yes, valid, valid. Remember this one, sir. Once we create a list object, we can perform any changes in that object. You can increase the size, decrease the size. We can perform replace operation, no problem at all. So means the list data will be changed, man. <coughs> list data will be changed. List itself is mutable. Remember that, okay? Let me execute this code. Let me execute this code. What is the answer we are going to get? Double seven, double seven, twenty, thirty, forty. So list itself is mutable. Very, very important, sir. Okay, that's all. These are various important points. What you people should be aware about the list. Mutable, changeable. Happily, you can change the content, sir. Next, uh, here, do you know how many list objects are there? How many list objects are there, sir? In this case, how many list objects are there? Only one list object only. In this case, how many list objects are there? Only one list object only. Internally, it contains some elements, sir. But how many list objects are there? Only one. If you want, uh, here, see, see this diagram, uh, diagrammatic representation, sir. L. L I'm taking, sir. Okay, that's all. Here, 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40 is there. Assume that 10, 20, 30, 40 is there. Whenever we are taking L of 0 is equal to double seven double seven, it is not going to create new object in the existing object only. 10 will be replaced with the double seven double seven. Sir, where is the proof for that? How you can confirm in the existing object only it got modified? Very simple. Let me print the print the ID of L. Print ID of L, sir. Next, after modification, after modification, yes, can you please print the ID of L? ID, ID of L, sir. After modification, can you please print ID of L? In both cases, same address by default we are going to get. So, at the beginning, same. Next, after modification also, it is the same address means, sir. New list object not created. In the existing list object only, the data got modified. So, this type of nature is by default considered a yeah, mutable nature. So, this is the mutable or not? Friends, list itself is the mutable or not? Yes, list is the, is the mutable, mutable, right? Okay, well. Next, uh, do you know another, another important point, sir? It is the, it is the mutable. Next, uh, sir, indexing, indexing, indexing and the slice operator applicable, applicable for the list. Applicable for list, sir. Indexing and slice operator applicable for the list. Remember this one, sir. Okay. Like, uh, sir, very, very simple. L of 0. L of 0. What is the value, sir? Print of L of 0. What is the answer we are going to get? 10. L of minus 1. What is the answer we are going to get? Minus 1. Like this, right? 40. 40 we are going to get. Next, uh, print of L of 1, 2, 4. I am taking, sir. 1, 2, 4. L of 1, 2, 4 means, sir. 1, 2, 1, 2, n minus 1. n minus 1 means 3. 1, 2, n minus 1. Sir, have you remembered? It is, uh, this operator is called what? Please confirm. I forgot the name. New members especially. So, this operator is called what? Slice operator. Slice, slice operator, right? Okay. Here, returns, returns. Okay, returns. List, list of values. List of values from begin index to end of minus one index. Begin index to end of minus one index. Begin index is one. End of minus one means three. One, two, three. One, two, three means one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Okay. Is uh, just to take a bit very, very special care about this one. Okay. Clear for all of you, right? Yes, friends. 20, 30, 40 by default you are going to get, no doubt at all. Clear? 
Rakesh, any doubt? Ya, yeah, Rakesh. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, yeah. We will, we will, we will discuss that. Okay. So just leave that. Okay. Now, here I hope that I will not be very clear for you people. You should, you should have clear clarity about this, this terminology, right? Okay, well, so I hope it's at least uh, next uh, minus one means, uh, do you know, uh, some, some shiva, minus one means, uh, uh, minus one, minus one means, uh, do you know, it is uh, in Python, in Python, it is going to provide support both for positive index and negative index. Positive index means 0, 1, 2, 3, okay, like uh, minus, uh, minus one means last, minus two, next uh, minus three, under then minus 4. Are you getting negative indexing? Negative indexing is from right to left. Forward uh, positive index from left to right. Just are you are you getting right? So I'm asking about L of minus 1. L of minus 1 means 40 like this, right? Clear, right? L of minus 1 means last element. Last element. This is the minus 1. This is the minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, like this, right? Okay, well, next, uh, sir, one more, some Neeraj is asking, I told, right, Neeraj, why you are having the same doubt again? Have you remembered, in the in the last, uh, we, we discussed already, so, what is the, if you are not specifying begin index, what is the default value? If you are not specifying begin index, what is the default value? Zero, zero means uh, from beginning, if you are not specifying end index, then until total. So means the total list you are going to get. Remember this one, first to last, the total list we are going to get. Am I getting total list or not? Last, last print statement. Yeah, that's all. This is what you people should aware clearly, right? Okay. These are various important conclusions about the list. Can I expect everyone having Basic idea, basic idea about list. Please confirm. Basic idea about the list. Everyone got the basic idea, sir. List is nothing but a group of elements. Where duplicates are allowed? Insertion order preserved. Duplicates, duplicates are allowed. Insertion order preserved. Next, heterogeneous objects are allowed. Growable in nature based on our requirement. You can increase or decrease the size. Next, square bracket notation is, uh, is the, uh, the convent is the thing which you should follow by list. Next, mutable, changeable, sir. Indexing and slicing, all the things are applicable. Just to get basic idea, almost the API is there, methods are there. We are going to discuss two to three sessions list concept. Don't worry, sir. While covering list, the list topic separately, right? Okay, just basic idea about all the data types I want to, I want to show. That's all. This is about the list. So can I use the word an ordered, mutable, heterogeneous collection of elements? Okay. An ordered here observer. An ordered, ordered, mutable, an ordered, mutable, heterogeneous, hetero, heterogeneous, ordered, mutable, heterogeneous, heterogeneous collection of elements. Heterogeneous collection of elements. Where duplicates are allowed, heterogeneous collection of elements, where collection of elements, where duplicates are allowed, duplicates are allowed, allowed is nothing but, is nothing but list concept. Remember, where order is important, mutability is there, heterogeneous elements are allowed, next duplicates are allowed, duplicates are allowed, such a type of all properties are nothing but list concept. Friends, Everyone in the position to understand what the meaning of list. Okay, well, sir, you know, sometimes my requirement is, observe very carefully, sir. Sometimes my, my requirement is, hey, I want a group of elements. I want a group of elements where, where duplicates are allowed. Duplicates are allowed. Observe my properties, right? Where duplicates are allowed, here observe. 
so duplicates where duplicates are allowed order is important heterogeneous objects are allowed next i want the immutable i want the immutable nature are you getting i want the immutable immutable means non modifiable not modifiable read only immutable means just you can read you can modify anything sir i want the immutable version of list list then then we should go for tuple sir very very important concept for the entire your room what is the difference between list and tuple sir main important difference what you people should be aware list is mutable and the tuple is immutable remember that you bit very carefully sir list itself is mutable tuple itself is immutable once uh, you specified the data the size uh, the data it's always fixed sir you can't perform you can't perform any modification except this all the remaining properties are always same man except except this all the remaining remaining properties are always the same no no difference at all okay uh, sir what we call duplicates are allowed heterogeneous objects are allowed order is important everything is the same so if it is the list the list is what mutable tuple is immutable next the list means uh, you can represent by using square bracket but if it is the tuple we can represent by using sir parenthesis are you getting tuple we can represent by using parenthesis immutable version read only version of list is nothing but tuple concept right remember sir here how you can represent just a very very simple sir t is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 i'm taking sir listen carefully listen carefully ah 10 20 30 i'm taking 30 i'm taking next to durga i'm taking durga i'm taking next of 50 i'm taking sir assume assume that duplicates are there heterogeneous elements are there right sir print t sir print t t like this sir what answer we are going to get for a fact okay like that sir what is the first element i am asking about first element t of 0 sir t of 0 0 that's all first element is 10 okay sir i want t of 1 to 4 sir 1 to 4 1 to 4 mean 1 to 3 are getting 1 to 4 mean one index second index three index sir. now the answer we are going to get 20 10 durga like this right 20 10 durga like we are going to get so everything is always same but only thing is you can't perform any modifications right okay now let me perform modification by t of 0 is equal to t of 0 is equal to is equal to sir i am trying to take 100 100 immediately immediately python virtual machine is going to give left and right oy hey, tuple object tuple object does not support i can say mean it is a type error it is a type error like immediately we are going to get type error tuple object does not support any item assignment like this right because tuple is immutable clear right now can i use the word t dot append of t dot append of 100 and is it possible or not possible please confirm t dot append of 100 is it possible or not possible no way because because the content once you created it is the fixed sir no more additions no more removal next and after that no more replacements because it is always immutable read only version okay if i am trying to take t of up and of 100 immediately we are going to get okay immediately we are going to get just observe that no such type of method attribute error man to pull object has no attribute append append you can't perform sir can you please remove remove of 10 can you please remove of 10 where is the question of remove you can't do any modification to pull object has no attribute remove something like so the main difference between list and tuple the main difference between list and tuple is list is growable tuple is list sorry list is immutable but tuple is immutable <coughs> clear right yeah uh, slice operator is implemented in that style sir okay begin to end minus 1 because index is always starts from zero index right 
so i want i want i want fourth element fourth element means uh, which is going to be located at third index i want elements up to fourth the first four elements i want that's why okay like sam getting the point yeah so now this is about the uh, what is the what is the tuple beyond that nothing sir can i use the word tuple is read only version of list tuple is read only read only version of list or not yes okay sir now when we should go for list when we should go for tuple when we should go for list when we should go for tuple sir while covering okay as a separate topic there i will add much more but up to that just aware sir if the content if the if the content keep on changing if the content keep on changing sir if the content keep on changing it's not fixed like like facebook comment like facebook comments are you getting like facebook comments comments next share market values like share market values like the content keep on changing so you require to add something you require to remove something so you require to perform replacement like this then obviously we should go for we should go for list sir okay well if the content if the content is a fixer if the content is fixer is fixer and the want to change and the want to change then we should go for tuple sir then we should go for tuple best example best best example sir do you know if if you have vendor missions are there okay vendor vendor missions are there sir in the vendor vendor missions you have to give 5 rupees coin or 10 rupees coin or 20 rupees note then you will get cool drink or something like have you have you ever saw vendor missions yo tea tea vendor mission coffee like if you are going to keep token something like yes vendor vendor missions are there sir do you know in any vendor mission allowed the inputs uh, always fixed correct or not allowed inputs uh, always fixed either one rupee coin or, or two rupee coin or five rupee coin or ten rupee coin that's all okay except this you are not allowed except this you are not allowed to provide any other assume that except this you are not allowed any other so the content uh, options uh, always fixed won't change sir won't change in its lifetime the content is always fixed the input values is always fixed how you can show these input values fixed values better to go for which concepts are tuple concept remember this one sir better to go for which concept tuple concept right next uh, do you know server server status assume that there are some uh, applications are going to run by using servers okay server status right sir something like uh, so start the status okay stop status next and after that you know running status start the state stop running next and after that terminate status terminate or shutdown status line sir for my for my server there are four states are available so these states are always fixed server other than these four states server can't go to any other state then automatically these are four values how you can represent these four values we can represent by using which concepts are tuple concepts. Remember this one. By using which concept we can we can represent these four values are by using tuple concept. Is it clear for all of that? So if the input is always fixed, then we require to go for tuple tuple concept, right? Okay, well, then immediately you ask, sir, what is the advantage? What is the advantage? Advantage of tuple using tuple. Even for this requirement of list you can use. What the advantage is? No one is allowed to change the content throughout the application no one is allowed to change the content second thing sir these values are fixed or not can you please confirm these these data is always fixed in the tuple or not is always fixed that's why what will happen is internally these values will be stored in the in the form of bits sir memory representation is in the form of bits bits like this that's why tuple elements sir, will take uh, less memory when compared with the list elements okay because the content is always fixed uh, it won't change that's why uh, internally the memory representation is the different uh, it will take uh, less memory next up uh, performance is also will be more performance is also more sir if the content fixed uh, and the won't change your hand should go for tuple only don't go for list concept list is the very costly when compared with the tuple Clear friends? Of course, in detail I will discuss the next level. A big table I will provide all the differences, right? Okay, but anyway, as of now, just a basic idea sake. You have to get some, some idea.
Okay, then. there is one more small twist is there <laughs> related to the tuple. Take very special cancer. Okay, now I have one small doubt. Take take a bit very very special care about this one. All the people, please listen carefully. Do you know being Python developer, minimum hundred times you are going to do this mistake. Even you are expert also. That's why please take a bit special care, sir. Sir, here, what is the what is the type of a? Can you please tell? Me? What is the what is the type of a? Ah, don't think too much. What is the type of a? Tuple tuple. How many how many elements are there in this tuple? How many elements are there in this tuple? Zero. Zero. Yes, acceptable. Zero size tuple is also acceptable. No problem at all. It is what types are tuple type. Tuple tuple like this. Now I'm taking tensor. Okay. Now how many elements are there in this tuple? <laughs> how many elements are there in this tuple? Ah, please confirm. One element is there. One element is there. Okay. Zero na. Oh, so that one element. Ten man. Ten. Ten. One element is there. Ten. Like that. Sir, now if you observe that, whenever I'm trying to ask a type of A, type of A, immediately it will become intertype. Remember this one, it will become intertype, it is not a tuple. In our normal mathematics, sir, normal, normal mathematics, sir, do you know 10 plus 20 you can represent like this? R 10, okay, plus 20 you can represent like this, okay. Now, sir, R 10 plus uh, 10 plus uh, 20 20 okay like uh, you can represent like this also in all cases the result is always a 30 only the result is always a 30 30 only sir means that for normal numbers also normal values also numbers also we can represent by using parenthesis regarding normal values also we can represent by using parenthesis Whenever we have single value under within parenthesis, then it never going to consider as the tuple. It is considered as whatever the type. It is the intertype. Okay. If it the 10.5, it is the tuple. It is it is the float type like that. So single valued tuple, you require to take a bit very special care. So my tuple contain only one value. Then how to represent sir? Very, very simple. You have to convey to the Python virtual machine. Oh, hey, Python virtual machine. Don't consider this one as the intertype. Can you please consider this one as the tuple only? Tuple only. I may add some more. Like a comma. You have to take. Regarding take very special case, sir. Comma. At last, if you are taking comma means, sir. Now Python virtual machine can understand. Oh, it is a group of elements, sir. Not a single element. Sir. And the parenthesis we are using. That's why it is the tuple. Are you getting right? Friends, with the comma, without comma. Observe the difference. With the comma, without comma. Okay? Without the comma, A will become intertype. Intertype. With the comma, A will become tuple type. Observe the difference, right? Okay? Single valued tuple. Compulsory, you have to take care, comma man. So, this problem will be there only in the case of tuple, no other area. By mistake, in, 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 in list case not required because, because our normal numbers, uh, we can represent only parentheses. No one is going to represent normal numbers with uh, curly braces, next uh, with, with square brackets. No one is going to represent. That's why this type of problem is going to come only for the tuple, not remaining cases. That's why take very special care about this bloody comma symbol. Single valued tuple should compulsory answer with comma. Otherwise, it is treated as intertype. I mean, the corresponding type. Yeah. Now, list under tuple. Everyone having some basic idea. Clear, friends? What is the main difference between list and tuple? Minimum one crore times asked question in the entire room. What is the main difference between list and tuple? Please confirm. List is mutable. Once we create list object, we can perform any changes in that object. But a tuple is immutable. Tuple is immutable. Once we create tuple object, we can't perform any changes in that object. It is immutable. Next one after that, tuple, tuple, tuple elements require less memory, but uh, list elements require more memory. Performance wise, tuple is good when compared with the list. Okay, list elements we can represent by using square brackets, but tuple elements we can represent by using parentheses. 
<coughs> okay, that's it. Still, some more differences are there. Slowly, we are going to discuss. Don't worry. Just to get some basic idea about these things, right? That's what what I should require. Yeah, Rakesh, just only that is the internal representation, maybe let me check the possibility, but just aware, internally, internally, tuple elements are going to be represented by using bits style at memory level. That's why less memory it is going to take. Just if it is, if it is required, if there is a possibility, I will explain in detail memory representations. Okay, yeah. Next, uh, third one, sir. Third one, set the data type. Set set data type, sir. In our normal mathematics, sir. Do you know in our normal normal mathematics, sir, set theory functions like set theory functions like we have we have this type of things like right? yeah, Aishwarya. Yeah. Sir, I'm a bit confused. Can we remove element from the tuple? Uh, can you please observe this answer? Uh, I mean, can you please? Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, can you please answer this question, sir? Can we can we remove element from the tuple or not? Once we create a tuple, once we create a tuple, you can't add, you can't remove, you can't replace. Remember that. At the beginning only, you have to specify the content. At the beginning only, you require to specify the content. That's also content is always fixed. You can't add, you can't remove, you can't perform replacement. Okay, this content is always final. No one is going to change this content. The only operation which is supports on the tuple is a read operation. Yeah, I swear. Okay, now observe that. Okay, can can we remove element from the tuple? Like, uh, yeah, that's all. Now the next one, sir. Set sets relations functions. Set theory is there, sir. Now here here also there is some small twist is there. Later I will cover, sir. Don't don't worry about this one. Here observe. What is the speciality of the set when compared with the list, sir? Sometimes our our requirement is I want uh, a group of elements. Sir. I want uh, a group of elements. Sir. A group of elements uh, as a single entity. Sir, I want to represent a group of elements as a single entity. Where, where duplicates are not allowed. Where duplicates are not allowed. Are you getting? And, and order is not important. And order is not important. Sir, I never worry about the order. But duplicates are not allowed. But duplicates are not allowed. I have this type of requirement, man. Then automatically we have to go for what set. Remember this one, sir. Again, very important question for the entire room. What is the difference between list and set? Very simple. List duplicates are. Your list duplicates are. <laughs> list duplicates are allowed. Allowed. But the set the duplicates are not allowed. Set contain only unique elements. Set contain only unique elements. So duplicates are not there. Next, uh, in list, uh, order is important. But in set, the order is not important. Okay? There is no question of order. Remember this one, sir. Okay? Now, how you can represent set elements, right? Within curly braces. Have you remember, right? Within curly braces, 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40. I'm taking sir. Okay, well, here somewhere in the middle, middle, I'm taking Durga, I'm taking Durga, I'm taking next uh, here, some Ravi, I'm taking next and after that, here, some apple, I'm taking here, just observe that apple, I'm taking like this. That's all. Now, can you please observe print of yes, sir? If the, if the, I, I, of course, type of yes. Can you please print the type of A? Type of A. What is the what the what is the type of A, sir? Okay, if I consider what the type of A means, sir, do you know set, sir? Perfect. It is what types are set type. 
it's what type set type set type but the problem here is very important sir if i print the, the value of a if i print the value of a what is the answer we are going to get just observe all properties will be satisfied now here are you seeing first thing are you seeing it is the curly braces only don't worry it is the curly braces only are you seeing first thing 10 how many times it is there can you please observe 10 here and the here sir 20 20 two times is available 30 two times is available 40 two times is available but in our output how many times 10 is there only one sir only one sir 20 only one sir 30 40 like this second point have you observed right first which element i added 10 10 next to durga what in our answer durga apple 40 10 ravi 20 30 like this we are going to get means that other is not important getting right can you please confirm order is important or not important order is not important order is not important duplicates are not allowed the most valuable very important question for the for the entry room what's the difference between list and set list duplicates are allowed set duplicates are not allowed list insertion order not preserved but set order uh, insertion order preserved but set order is not preserved remember in our normal mathematics also if you observe that if you observe that 1 comma 2 comma 3 normal mathematics right 1 comma 2 comma 3 first set second set third set is there next here 3 comma 1 comma 2 i'm taking next uh, 2 3 1 i'm taking like this can i use the word all these three sets are equal in the mathematics are not equal equal because in the normal mathematics set theory how it is going to consider array whatever elements are there inside s1 is the same elements available in s2 or not irrespective of order order is not at all important in the normal mathematics sets that's why here also programming set also won't worry about order any doubt <clears throat> okay well now here just observe observe a bit very very carefully about this one so sir now the point heterogeneous elements hetero heterogeneous elements i told right heterogeneous elements allowed everywhere sir heterogeneous elements are allowed next up heterogeneous elements are allowed allowed like the next terminology very very important answer sir. sir take a bit a bit special care about this one okay here i'm taking a is equal to 10 durga like this or otherwise let me simplify this one sir 10 20 30 40 50 40 50 i'm taking sir can you please tell print of a of zero what the answer print of a of zero please tell ma ah, good good excellent what the answer we are going to get a of zero why you are thinking this much ah. <laughs> what answer we are going to get okay uh, if i can ask this question python virtual machine will give left and right okay remember this sir almost you are you the people who are telling 10 are the answer you experience that python virtual mission is going to give left and right because it is a set are you getting because it is a set where order is not important if the order concept is not there where is the question of first element where is the question of second element can you please tell that's why index such type of terminology not applicable for the list remember this one sir index index such type of terminology not applicable for the set okay what the answer we are going to get type error set object does not support indexing indexing does not support indexing observe that type error set object does not support indexing everyone can aware are you in the position to understand right now one more important point yeah yeah kumar we will discuss one more important point sir okay print off 
ये आ वन टू फोर आम आस्किंग व्हाट आंसर वी आर गोइंग टू गेट ये आ वन टू फोर वी आर वी आर वी आर आम आम गोइंग टू आस्क वन टू फोर can you please confirm what will happen okay again yeah are index only not there where is the question of slice operator where is the question of slice operator uh, one minute let me remove this one because otherwise there only it will be stop okay now observe set object is not a subscriptable subscript because do you know sub subset we are going to get uh, because of slice operator right so means uh, it's not a subscriptable type error set object is not a subscriptable like this we are going to get clear right okay so index concept is not applicable slicing is also not applicable right one more important point index and the slice operator are not applicable slice operator are not applicable indexing and slice operator are not applicable okay like next uh, one more thing sir yeah yeah akash i will i will give the link next uh, what is the next important conclusion i have to i have to touch on can you please tell here observe carefully here observe carefully i created one set one set sir yes assume that yes sir yes sir dot add a 100 i'm taking print of yes sir print of yes sir can you please confirm is it is it valid or not print of yes is it valid or not you respond yes is it valid or not why not why not i never told immutable no i never told it is immutable you can add you can remove elements no problem at all you can add elements you can remove elements no issue at all okay 100 itself is applicable but where it is added no such type of guarantee it may be added at the beginning it may be added at last or it may be added in the middle also we can't expect the exact value so next for the set we have yard method but for the list we have append method remember this one remember append is applicable for the for the list append is applicable for the list but yard applicable for the set okay both are different methods different concepts also <coughs> next i want to remove 30 i want to remove 30 30 like this right is it possible or not yes no problem at all have you observed right 100 yarded 100 yarded next 30 removed 100 yarded 30 removed okay like that. yeah rakesh correct okay so this is uh, these are various important points what you should aware so means that mutable means that mutable you can change the content you can add something you can add something you can remove something that's why mutable next uh, growable based on our requirement you can based on based on our requirement you can increase the size you can decrease the size all possibilities are applicable for that tuple remember this one these are various important points about the tuples next up uh, one more very very important terminology is there or very important point is that sir what is the point is take very special care about this one <clears throat> okay yes is equal to like i'm taking print of yes sir. print of yes sir. yes sir. like this right okay print of yes can you please confirm what answer we are going to get in this case what the what the answer we will get uh, sorry print of yes means in print of type of yes sir. i'm asking about type of type of yes sir what the answer please confirm hmm good excellent are respond friends what the answer we are going to get don't try to execute parallelly concentrate only on my lesser later you can execute what the answer we are going to get yeah that's what you people should be aware so if it is the list we can represent by using square bracket if it is the tuple we can represent by using parenthesis if it is the set we can represent by using curly braces 
you put the dictionary, we can represent by using curly braces. Oh, curly braces story is applicable for both the set and the dictionary also. Remember, that's why. Eh? So by the for curly braces means uh, it is the dictionary, but not the set. <laughs> Remember that by default curly braces means it is the dictionary, but not the set. Dangerous point. Okay. Now it is dicta, but not but not the set. But not set. It is the dicta type. Remember dicta type. So then immediately we ask, sir, why sir? By default it is the dicta type. The reason for that is set and dicta. Among these two things, dict is most commonly used data type in Python. Among these two, which is the commonly used, which is the commonly used data type, dict is the commonly used when compared with the set. That's why. So by default, most commonly used type only it is providing the support. Clear, right, Neeraj? Oh, alphabetical order? No. <laughs> yeah. It is a by default a dicta type. Then immediately mask, sir. I don't want dicta, sir. I want an empty set only. Please guide how to create empty set. So if you want to create empty set, what is the way is you have to do like this. Are you getting? You have to do in this style. Set bracket open bracket close. Are you getting set bracket open bracket close? Now it is considered, yeah, empty set. Remember that. Now it will be treated as yes, empty set. Regarding if you print the yes, yes value, what is the answer we are going to get, sir? Print of yes. What is the answer we are going to get is, do you know, set, empty set only. Okay? It never going to print the curly brace open and close for empty set. Because the reason is, curly brace open and close meant for dictionary, but not for set. Any doubt? <clears throat> yes. Here in the tuple, single valued element, comma must be required. Next, the set, empty set, dangerous. These two things you have to take a bit very special care about the this. Okay. That's all, friends. This is about uh, what is the list, list, set, I mean list, tuple, and the set. List, tuple, list, tuple, and the set. These are the three things what you should have. Next, uh, some people are asking where we can use a set concept. So I told, right, if the content is keep on changing, if the content is keep on changing, like Facebook comment, later point of time, you can edit that comment with some more extra points. Such a type of thing is by default considered, yeah, a list concept, right? Next, a tuple concept, tuple concept, options are fixed. You can't change these options. Regarding options are always fixed. You can't change these options. Like, then obviously tuples are. Next, the set concept where you can use. Best example, sir. I want to I want to write the one mail sending application. Mail mail sending application. Application I want to do that, sir. Okay, all mail IDs, all mail IDs I have to store somewhere. I have to store store somewhere. All mail IDs I have to store somewhere. Order is not important. Anyway, for everyone I have to send the mail. Order is not important. But duplicates are not allowed. But duplicates are not allowed. Are you getting? Order is not important, but the duplicates are not allowed. Then obviously our cam should go for which data types are set. In the set, you have to store all mail IDs. What is the biggest advantage we are going to get if I choose a set here? If any duplicate is there, automatically that duplicate by default will be removed. Getting right? Yes, sir. This is the place where you can use a set. Sir, anywhere, sir. Any, anywhere. <clears throat> tuple, tuple won't remove any duplicates. Rakesh, the main difference between list and the tuple is only one difference. Mutable, immutable. So duplicates are allowed. Order concept is applicable. Slicing, indexing, all those things are applicable, right? Duplicates are won't remove in the case of tuple. Observe that. If I can take tuple, P is equal to P is equal to 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30. 
So we have to write print of T. So all all elements are there. Duplicates are there in the tuple. Are you getting duplicates are there in the tuple? Tuple duplicates are there. But if it's the set, if it's the set, duplicates won't be there. If it's the set, duplicates won't be there, sir. Set duplicates won't be there. Are you seeing the difference? So I want read only version. I want read only version. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Rakesh. Okay, maybe in the server statuses are unique. That is just one example I covered. Insert insertion order, such a type of thing is not applicable. So the insert insertion order, such a type of terminology is not applicable. Remember that. Okay. That's all. Next up, one more very important point I have to discuss. It is a very, very common. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Neeraj, that API we will discuss soon. Here one important doubt, sir. Uh, which methods are allowed? Uh, what is the behavior of each method and so on? Sir, these are things we have to discuss as a separate topics, right? List the concept of four topic, four classes or three classes minimum. Next, the set concept, tuple concept, like all these things I will discuss in detail with the API. It is not a discussion of these concepts in detail. Just the basic idea I'm trying to provide for you people. We have that nothing. Clear, right? Okay. So still, if you are having any doubts in your mind, please keep those doubts until some more time. <laughs> there, we will discuss in detail. Okay. Just the idea, idea, basic idea I'm going to provide. Next one more. Uh, sir, how to install Python? Which IDE, which editor you are using? Like... Uh, so uh, like some people may have the doubt okay i will take one separate session mostly this uh, this uh, week uh, i will take how to install python next to which ide in how many ways we can run the python application right so i will do that but uh, before that if any person sir, still i want i want to start my programming if any person is there just uh, python installation installation and the run by <coughs> yeah this is the just one one video is already i shooted of course not the, uh, it is just the previous batch online online session okay like so current version whatever the version we have recent version happily you can take this video sir who is this <laughs> one minute one minute okay so this is learn python python installation and various ways to run okay whatever the way i'm trying to do that okay like akash can you please check the google there are it's a very common things in the in the youtube or google it's available just check there it's very easy still if you are not going to get i will but i'm not that much familiar with the linux environment Okay, just uh, go through go through this video so that you can do that, sir. Okay, 